Thank you. It's really a pleasure to be here. Um, cool. Um, so yes, I'm uh, Raquel Ortasun, that's, uh, that's my name. I'm the chief scientist for Uber ETG, which is a self-driving car program. I also head the office here. Uh, I'm an associate professor of the Computer Science Department at the University of Toronto, and I co-founder of the Vector Institute. What this basically means is that I have way too many jobs for a single person. Um, so I was born in Pamplona, which is a small town in the north of Spain, which is very, very beautiful, and it's not really, it doesn't look what you probably think of Spain. Um, it looks more like uh, Switzerland, if any. Um, now, I studied electrical engineering over there, and I got passionate about AI. However, my town is not really known for AI. It's known for this thing, <laughs> right, which you probably have seen before. Um, so the running of the bulls. Anyways, so um, in my last year of undergrad, I decided to go to France to do a project for my bachelor thesis. Um, and I told my family, I'm going to be gone for maybe six months or so. I will come back, don't worry, and you know, we'll stay here like everybody else. That was more than 20 years ago, and I never came back. Well, holidays, though. Um, and that was the beginning of my journey uh, around the world. Um, I went to Switzerland for my PhD, um, and then after I graduated, I went to the US, which is basically where everybody was going. So I went to MIT with this beautiful, beautiful architecture. Uh, this is the Sata Center, Computer Science Department. Um, and I lived there for eight years. Uh, I was also in Berkeley, uh, Chicago, etc. And at some point, I decided, well, it's time to go somewhere else. And this somewhere else was actually Toronto. <laughs> and there's many reasons I moved here. Uh, when one of the most important ones was that if you wanted to do AI, research in AI, this was the place to be. At the same time, the talent here was amazing, right, with the Toronto Waterloo Corridor. And this city is actually, you know, for somebody like me that like diversity, it's very, very important and very, very exciting to live here. The winter is not so, so, you know, not so good, but <laughs> whatever. It's the north of Spain, so, you know, it's not so, so different. Um, and I really make my home uh, of this town. Now, I was very, very fortunate that after two years, um, I was lucky to receive this award called the Stacey Award, uh, which is something like, um, you know, scientists, uh, best scientists in Canada were for mid-career. And I went and met our prime minister. And, you know, after uh, the event, he sent me this postcard thing uh, where we both look very young over there. Uh, um, but basically it says, thanks, Raquel. Uh, for Raquel, thanks for your, all your hard work. And after this, there was no way I could leave this country, right? <laughs> Anyways, he's a clever man. Cool. So, you know, I was in academia. I never worked in a company before. And I was very, you know, excited with my research in self-driving. Uh, but, you know, in just working in, um, in universities, there is so much you can do with such a field as self-driving. In order to really understand what is the problems that are the most important problems to solve, I needed to partner with industry and to partner in a way that was open and collaborative. So I finally decided to stop returning the calls of all these companies. Um, and the first thing that they all say is, oh, great, just come to the US. It's like, no, 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 wait a second. Um, I don't want to go back there. I want to stay in Toronto. And I want to have a big lab here that is actually important for the company. And it's a lab where we're going to share with the world everything we do. And that was the beginning of Uber ATG, which uh, you know, is, uh, I guess, almost three years ago. Now, cell driving is actually really hard. And this is my only technical slide. I cannot resist to have something there. Uh, this is basically uh, one of the things that we do in the lab is do uh, cutting edge research. But what is important is that it's not just research for the sake of research. Most of the things that we do, they go into production. This is basically the car seen with all the algorithms that we, ha we have done in Toronto. And yet, uh, therefore, we reach the goal of really developing technology that can change the world and you know, push this technology forward. This is basically uh, in you know, the, the car scene, in a scene where it's at night. There is many, many people here. There is many cars, et cetera. So you can see how difficult it's actually to try to solve this task and being reliable and safe uh, uh, all the time. All right, so a few months after this, uh, uh, Dara, our CEO, I can't pronounce his family name, so I will stop there, uh, which is somewhere here in the center, right, came to announce that uh, further investment of $200 million in the, uh, for the next five years uh, in the city of Toronto uh, to create a tech hub out of, uh, out of this investment. And I was really excited to see that how Uber was really uh, given back to the community uh, with big investments. Now, self-driving cars are the only, not the only thing that we have bring from America, right? There is other things, like you see here. It's the second time that you see this thing. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to be there for the first. Anyways, cool. <laughs> 
what can you do? Um, but we need to be careful, right, that we, need, we don't need to sit just saying that everything is going to be OK, right? And that, um, and that basically we have an advantage over uh, you know, our neighbors in the south. And this is one of the reasons why we created the Vector Institute for AI, is to try to create a local ecosystem and feed the local ecosystem with fantastic people that actually really know what AI is about and can really empower companies to go to the next level. Um, now, a lot of people ask me into, OK, what it is to be a woman in technology? And it's an interesting question, because when I studied undergrad, we were 50% female, 50% male. And that was the, you know, the last time I saw something like this. Right? This was, again, 20 years ago. Uh, but one of the things that I have done in the lab is that all my leadership is female. And there is one sitting around somewhere, where is Simar? Cool, over there, uh, who has the engineering side of the lab. Um, and you know, this is just a, to showcase that actually it is possible. There is women out there that are actually brilliant. And you should think about and look around, because there is plenty, plenty of people just looking for opportunities. And something that seems like you know, impossible is actually something that is possible. And so this is basically the end of, of my journey. I hope that uh, you know, I share some of the, uh, the reasons why I came here. And I'm extremely excited to see, you know, to really make this my home and continue growing here. Thank you. We're going to take a few Chicken. questions. Say that again. Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Um, <laughs> before we open up the questions, I actually have a question, Raquel. Um, Toronto's built a reputation for leading AI. It seems like every week we get pinged by another company that wants to open up an AI center here. How hard is it to compete for talent, and do we have enough talent here? Um, so, so this is an interesting question, right? Because there is the thought that if companies come, they're going to just take all the talent that is local. But one of the things that we have seen is that with these companies coming, there's so much talent that are actually now coming because they want to be here. Uh, so it's just in enhancing the amount of talent that we have locally. It's not really competing with the local talent. And I think this is you know, very important to, to think about. And, and you know, to see, like five years ago, was very, very different than what we see right now. And a lot of the startups, uh, for example, are uh, really saying that they see that they can hire much easier now than they used to be when there was no competition from foreigners. And what we see also, sorry, one more thing is that we see a lot of Americans coming, which we have never seen before. Nothing to do with politics in the States. <laughs> <laughs> There's many reasons, this one. <laughs> Questions? interesting what you said about seeing more Americans coming here because talent is important Canada is a great place to be but why do tech people want to come to Canada um, because there is a lot of innovation that is happening in Canada in the context of AI for example uh, you know some of the or most of the major breakthroughs happen in Canada this is the reason I came to Canada, and there is many, many people like me that are coming to Canada because of this. And now what we need to do is really make the connections between the research side and the companies, the industry, so that we can really benefit with this technology, everybody, and then really grow the economy. Well, thank you for coming to Canada. <laughs> thank you. Last question. Hi. Uh, my name is Vivek. Uh, I ha I'm a software engineer uh, with seven years of experience. Uh, I've heard about AI, the buzzword, but you seem to be an expert in AI. So where do you think uh, one should start uh, You know, looking into AI, getting information? So what should be the first getting started guide you would, you would suggest to be? Uh, so in order to get started, there is like many very nice tutorials online where you don't even need to take a degree or anything like that. You can have some practical experience, participate in some of the Kaggle competitions, for example, and at the same time, read the fundamentals uh, that are in these online courses. Uh, for example, as at the University of Toronto, we have all our courses, all our lecture materials online, so that's another good source. There is so many things out there that uh, uh, you could use in order to start uh, your journey. 
and there is definitely you know space for everybody to have a fantastic job so we need more people like you thank you